We uh, obviously we depend a lot on shooting. We start off the game making shots. We got the same shots the whole game, but we just you know we didn't make them. We're, our defense was about you know pretty good, solid, um, you know. But we we depend on making jump shots, and we haven't really made them. And uh, since we took the first break, and then the second break, and now this break, um, we just you know other than Robert, you know we're about five or six out of thirty three. And uh, Robert saved us for there for a while, but you know we're just not. Uh, obviously, we're, we're, we shoot six, seven, whatever for thirty-eight. We're not going to win games. I think also, uh, you know, we thought Barama would play, but his it was sore. Knee was sore. He practiced five or six days in a row, but his knee was sore, so he couldn't go today. Uh, you know, Quincy's an important part of the team. He just, you know, he's. Charged, he knocked, knocked two people down, and took himself out of the game. And you know he's a very important player for us. But the bottom line is, we got shots that we can make and need to make, and we didn't. So you know that was really, at the end of the day, that was the game. Our defense wasn't great, but it was good enough. But our offense, you know, we just didn't make shots that we have to make. We had open shots, uh, but you know we didn't make them. Questions. First question is from Anthony DeBundo. How would you assess the shot selection down the stretch there and maybe the last five or six minutes or so? Well, Allen took a really hard one that he made, and then he had another hard one that he missed. But uh, we got Buddy a good shot off the curl. Um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, Joe had a couple looks, but, you know, we just we missed too many shots the whole, the, the whole game, bottom line. Next question from Nico Tamirian. Uh, thank you, Susie. Uh, Coach, I know it was happening, um, obviously, as you were getting ready for the game, and I was just wondering your thoughts on today's events. You know, week. it's a sad thing. I, I'm just not going to get into politics. Two people canceled their season tickets because I said that I think the election's been solved. <laughs> you know, it's over. And two people, that's how crazy these people are. Some guys had season tickets for 38 years. He canceled them because I said the election is over. And he said, no, it wasn't. It was fixed. And it's sad. Sad for our country. Uh, we're just uh, just an awful, awful thing. But next question that's from, it. I'm sorry, Coach. Go ahead. No, I'm done. Uh, next question from Mike Waters. Jim, how much um, of a factor today was the, uh, the rebounding? If it had... Uh, 21 second chance point. Yeah, they got they got us on the boards in the second half a little bit, but you know that's part of it. Quincy being out, he's our best rebounder. Um, yeah, that I mean that hurts us for sure. And the other thing is shots. You know, Kadari has got to understand they're leaving him open. They're they're saying get off him, get off him. They're leaving him open from the three point line, and uh, you know he's got to drive and make plays in those situations, which he did after the first couple, but you know, he, he needs to see that. He's not making those shots in practice yet, so he's got to be able to drive. But yeah, I mean, the boards is a problem for us anyway, uh, but uh, you know, we're small. When Quincy out, you know, we're unbelievably thin and small. There's no question about that. Next question from Stephen Bailey. Hey Jim, I wanted to ask about the inbounds play with eight seconds left. Uh, what went wrong there? Just good defense or something you They did a good job. We tried to set up a back screen and pop, and it didn't work, and then we just didn't get open. Their defense was just better than our offense. Next question from Mark Larson. Hey, Coach. Um, uh, your team came out uh, shooting four out of six, I think, from outside and then and then went cold. Uh, did you see any impact of the of the lack of practice? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say, but we just we just didn't shoot well. You know, a lot of time off. You know, I mean that it, it doesn't help you when you don't practice. It, you just don't get into the toughness part. You don't have your legs. You know, we just legs ran out of gas. I mean, you take Robert away after those four, uh, you know, we were about four for 30. That's not going to win many games. Next 
question from Donna Dakota. Yeah, hey Jim. Um, I'm curious about uh, what you saw in Rob that you inserted him into the game today. Uh, Woody and Ventor getting those minutes. Woody, Woody hasn't practiced and Robert has, so I was going to go with Robert anyway. And then they were in the zone situation, and you know he can shoot. We we know he can shoot, and uh, you know he knocked down some shots. We know he's a good shooter, but he's had practices. That's the the main thing. He practiced every day, so uh, Woody Woody was not able to. He was in. A, Woody was in a longer quarantine period than Rob. No, he was in isolation, so he didn't practice at all. We have three more questions. The first is from Dan Torcora. Coach, just what you can say about uh, Rob Braswell's ball play. I know you're talking about the threes, but just what he did to keep the team in the game and, and try and stop that surge later, later on in the game. Yeah, he's played, he played well on defense. He played well on offense, and he really picked us up. He was the difference. He gave us a chance. Without Robert, uh, we wouldn't have had a chance. They would have beaten us early. Um, he, he was the difference in the second half. He kept us in the game. Question from Gil Gross. Coach, I know uh, everyone in the ACC is wearing the, the wristbands for contact tracing with Georgetown next being the last non-conference opponent. I was wondering if you know if, if they're also wearing the I don't. Wristbands. I don't know, and it doesn't seem to matter anyway whether you're wearing them or not. They don't take it into consideration when you play games, so I, I don't know. We, we wear them. I don't know. If they don't take it into consideration, it's not really helpful. And our last question, we'll go back to Mike Waters. Jim, as part of Quincy's uh, development this year, is part of it, does he need to learn to stay out of the foul trouble because of how important he's become to you this, year, this season? Well, he was not in foul trouble that much last year. I mean, he's never really had that situation. And, um, you know, he played the first call was very, he drove, it was very close. The second... The fourth foul, the guy was pushing it on him all the whole time, and you know, I mean, it's, he's just got to learn to handle that better. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's still learning the game. I mean, he overpowered a lot of people early in the year, and he's not going to overpower guys in the league. So you know, he has been shooting the ball better, uh, but he was not able to get anything going inside today, and he's not moving to get the ball very well. Um, he, he really didn't get himself into opportunities the times he had the ball. Um, you know, he uh, committed fouls. So, you know, he's just going to have to learn. It's uh, There's a lot of work ahead of him. I think Allen really gets frustrated out there. He tries to do too much dribbling. The first half, he's trying to dribble the ball up the court and uh, just get the ball to the guard and get down the court. And, uh, you know, defensively, Allen is uh, trying to figure out. He gave up baseline about 10 or 15 times. And normally in the course of a year, a forward will give it up two times. So he's got to get better on defense. And uh, as, a, as a team, you know, we have to get better. Uh, I think practices will help us. But right now, uh, physically, uh, you know, we just didn't have legs to make shots. I mean, all the shots we got were good shots, but if we're going to shoot that poorly, uh, it's it's going to be difficult because it's hard to drive when they're giving you shots. And we're not really drivers. You know, we got shooters, and uh, so again, that's something we're going to have to just work on. And you know, we've had about eight practices. You know, we get a, we got to get a couple in this next couple of days, and then we got to get a few few more in when we can, and try to try to catch back up. That's what we have to do. Thank you.